Hi, I'm John Storms, and what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can hack a universal remote so that it can control the uh, Mickey Mouse ears that are the glow with the show Mickey Mouse ears. Now, I could have made this a real fancy video, but I'm going to do this kind of an archaic way. So the ears are from Disneyland or Disney World, and this is their SKU number. I assume that the second thing is a part number and the other line is just something else that was on the label. But that helps identify the ears. Okay, the remote that I'm using is an RCA universal remote. Uh, the model number, it's very specific to RCR P05BR. This is a JP 1.3 class remote. Now what that 1.3 means is that six pin interface right there okay so you can see it here on my remote right there now I'm hooking a cable up to that and this casing it wasn't enough room so I cracked the casing open drilled out the plastic away so I could fit the cable okay okay so that's the remote you don't have to do anything to the ears themselves now what you need to do is you need to hook the remote up to the computer and to do that we use this cable. It's a JPX flash cable and essentially it goes, it's a USB to serial connection and it has a special six pin connector so it can uh, go on that JP1 interface in the, uh, in the remote. Uh, and it can be purchased online at that link. And I'll have notes that go along with this as well. Okay, so this is the cable right here. I'm doing this one handed while I hold the, the camera. Now on the cable, if you notice on the six pin connector, the little dot there goes with pin one. So when you're looking at the board here, which I'm sure you can't see in the camera, well, maybe you can, you want to line this up to pin one. So for mine, it goes just like that. Okay, now first there's some software that you have to install. So you have to install Remote Master. And if you look, all of these are coming from the same website. This is the JP1 form. This is a great form for hacking universal remotes. And Remote Master is a uh, Java-based uh, program, um, and it requires the RDF files and the ma maps and images. You just take the zip files that come with RDF and the maps and images, you just toss those all into one directory, and then when you install Remote Master for the first time, it'll ask you where they are. And that's all you have to do. Um, and if you have any trouble, just look on the forums. These are very well-supported tools. They've been used since like 2003, 2004, so they're, they're, uh, they're quite mature. Now, of course, if you want to skip ahead, I have, a, I have a file that you can just load. If you get this exact remote, you can just load this file up from my Google Drive, and it should just work. But we'll, we'll show you how it works here anyhow. Okay, so enough of that. So I have the cable connected up to my remote, and then I just connect this guy to my USB port, just like that. And then I go over here, and I start... The remote master software. Let me make sure I get the right one here. Okay, so this is the remote master. So what I'm going to do first is I wipe this remote off. So it's connected right now. I wipe the remote so it was back to original form. And here, this button here will download from the attached remote. So I click on this. And then you see the little light starts flashing. That means it's uh, downloading. And you see all the information about the remote is here. And it's kind of cool. You can go and change it and set up macros. And there's a lot of things you don't need to do for the ears, but this is actually some really useful software. Okay, so the remote is good the way it is. Now, if you really start playing with this, you could really mess up your, your remote pretty good. So it's good to save this to a backup file. And so originally I just saved mine to um, RCA Remote Mod, but you know what? I'm going to save it as under the model number here. That way, you know, if I ever really screw this up, I can go back. So now what I'm going to do next is you go up here and then you say save as, and then it would be like, I'm going to save it with the glow with the show, but since I already have that file, I'm just going to hit cancel here. Okay, so now, this is pretty easy. Now it was really hard to figure out. We're skipping you know, all the signaling and how all that works and there, there's an IR widget that you can use to actually listen to um, the IR going back and forth, but we are just jumping right ahead to how you program this. So you go to learned signals. 
and I come over here to my notes, and we already have all the codes. So for example, if I want to do green, I need this chunk of code right here. So I just copy that, I come up back over to the remote master, and I say new, and then I go up here to device, cable device, so I say cable, key, and then whatever you want. You can have the OK button, the reverse button, I'm going to say one. This is green, so here I do my paste, control V, you see it put that code in there. And I don't think it wants the spaces in there, so let me take that out. And then you hit apply. If you look at advanced version, when you hit apply, it goes and puts all this stuff in there for you. And that's all you got to do. Okay, you don't need to worry about that. You click OK, and now it's there. Okay, let's do another one. We'll do off to make sure off works. Okay, so we come over here, we find the line for off, we copy that, edit, copy, come over here, and we paste that in, take out that extra space of the extra line feed, apply it, and that's zero. So we'll say one, one is green, that's off. And then you can even come in here and you can say this is off, you can say this is green, right? And then I can, I can say I'm going to save this as test. Okay, so now I hit upload. It says uploading. Green light is flashing. All right. Now it's done. Now you could disconnect it if you wanted to from the the remote, but you don't have to. So I'll turn the ears on. Let's turn the light off. Okay, so the ears are doing their thing that they do when you turn them on. I pick up my remote. I did it as a cable button, so make sure cable selected. Press one, bam, the green. Zero, they're off. Green. Can you see that they're green? Not really. Take my word for it. They're coming up green and then off. Now I've only programmed two buttons, but if I go back, and here's some, there's another thing you want to see here. So I'm going to say file, open. I'm going to open the, the file that I've used to store everything. So I already have all the codes programmed in. Okay? Now when I do upload, watch what happens. Uploading, uploading, write remote return minus one. That means it had a write error. What happens is, is there is only so much room that the remote has. Even though memory says it has enough room, for some reason it gets stuck. So whatever order these are in, at some point it stops working. So I come back to my hat, I come to my remote, and I have it set up for red. I get my red. Green, blue, cyan, and so on. But it got caught off at some point. So. What I found works is I just come in here and I just say, try again. And then I see how far down the list and it will be in the order of this list. At some point it gets cut off. And so I figure, I found if I try uh, a number of times, I can actually get pretty far down on the list. Okay. See that time I didn't get very far. So I'm gonna say, well, you know what? Upload it again and it's uploading. Okay, let's see how far it got. Green, blue. Yeah, not too far. So you, you try it a bunch of times and then it works. And, um, and that's how we did it. Like I said, I'll post notes with this. Thanks for watching.